All right, guys, so I'm going to show you the Translate websites for Safari on your Mac. Now, it's pretty simple. So, first in the top left corner, just, well, first, of course, go into Safari. And then you're going to press on Safari in the top left. And then go to the first option, About Safari. All right, so you need to be on version 14 or later. So you see for me it's 15.4, so I'm up to date here. Now if you're not on version 14 or later, then in the top right corner just search for software update. And it's update to the latest version of Mac OS. Alright, now once you're up to date, so let's just say for example, we'll go to the Chinese version of Apple. Okay, so you see a bunch of text here. We can't read it. Now, in the top right corner of the URL bar, you see there's this icon. And if you hover your mouse over it, it says translation available uh, within the URL bar. All right, so just press the button. And so you see for me, I have a couple options here. I can translate to English or Spanish. Now, if you want to add another language, then I'll show you that next. But yeah, let's just translate to English. And you guys see it's now translated. Now, if you want to go back to Chinese, then once again, just press the button and go down to view original. And if you want to add a different language, then once again, press that same button and go to preferred languages. Okay, now here's the list right here on the left. So you can move these if you want to change the order. And if you want to remove one, just press on it and press minus. And if you want to add, just press the plus. So let's just add in, we'll add in French. Just pressing add. Now it's asking if you want to make this your primary language. I don't want to do that, so I'll just use English. And there it is on the list, so close out of that. And once again, pressing here, so now we can translate to French. And hey guys, so there is to it. So hopefully this helped out.